Hello everybody on the YouTube community, this is the Panther Channel, and today I'm doing a review of The 3%, a TV show on Netflix, the original series. It's basically based in South America, I think it was like Argentina or Brazil. I forgot, I haven't been watching this for, for the fourth season. But, um, it's going to have a little spoilers in this review, because I'm doing the second season of the review, and I have to spoil a little bit of the first, the first season. Okay? Won't be much, I'm going to do my best to hide the most spoilers, because if you haven't watched it. First of all, it's all in Spanish, it's all in subtitles, okay? If you don't like reading movies and like subtitles, this is not the show for you, okay? Really, I think you should give a chance and do it, because it's the first season is six episodes, the second season is ten episodes. It's really good. If you love the Hunger Games, um, Maze Runner, Dark Virgin, basically futuristic games like this, like that, you will love this show. Well, it's based on like this. Every year they do a process, okay? And 3% of the, the processors can go to this island. The rest of the world that they live on is in poverty. They are poor, they live in the little shitty ass little homes of, of like cement. And um, they barely get food, they're so often they're starving. But they, this offshore island has all the food, all the witches like this. But you have to pass, go through the process. When you turn 20, 20 years old, you're eligible for the process like this. If you pass, you can go to the island. But you have one chance to do it. So the season starts with all the people doing tests, trying to do like pass the first thing before the interview, okay? And like you do the interview like this. I'm just telling you basically like that. Well, the people are passed the test that the first season. Well, they're in the second the second season when it comes up. They're trying to stop the test because you have these like people who are trying to guess the system and try to destroy the whole process because they think it's unfair for only 3% of the people in the population to live in luxury and they think it's more fair that way. So you see the rebels trying to integrate the system and take it down from the inside. And you see the people based on the system losing their way because the original people made it didn't make it the way they the way they have it now. The tests they do for the process are all about mind games, situations you are, how to escape situations. And if you can cheat, that's okay. It's okay to cheat, as long as you win the, 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 the test. So the characters have to basically push themselves to the very limits of different strategy, different testing like this, and have to lie on each other like this. And not trust each other, I guess. That's basically the first season. The second season is even darker. Um, you see them, the beauty of the, the island like this, and it's lovely as hell. It's exotic, it, you see a lot of Spanish culture in it. Um, the technology they use is kind of cool like this. Uh, you see the different class systems. And you get to the, the original origin of the thing, like it's the founding fathers of the thing, like the founding of the thing of them. And you see like how they use to destroy people. And um, the people that did survive there, you see the current, it's a cripple guy. It may be full sorry for him. He lost the process the first one, okay? I, I just spoiled it, I'm sorry for that. Um, you see him how he's disowned from his father, and his love interest is like in Long Island, like this. But his best friend, since childhood, is helping him out a little bit, and he, he's teaching how to do the passive process, like this. You see their journey, and you see his hatred for the process, because it changes people into complete douchebags. I would recommend watching it because I'm not gonna try to spoil it too much. Oh God, like this. It's a great show. Season two gets really dark and some horrible things happen, but entertaining things like this. It has a different class systems, things like this. Like it's like the rich, the poor, and I I can actually see this happening in the future. Like this, because so the more rich you are, more we use up the earth resources like this, the more some people get more, some people get less like this. And we have a little kind of this. So, um, I give this short season, this uh, series, a solid 10. It's wonderful. If you don't like subtitles, this is not a show for you. If you can handle reading subtitles each episode, then you should watch it for sure, okay? Um, yeah. It's called 3% of Love Netflix. I'm pretty sure you enjoy it, and you have a great day.